in New Orleans. If this is it for Drew Brees, maybe one last look to the family suite, blowing a few kisses, and on his way out, one more look back as it's been a beautiful marriage with his coach. Sean, if this is the end of the uh, Drew Brees and Sean Payton era together, how do you encapsulate what he's meant to you? Oh, listen, I think that's probably for another press conference. Um, and I, I can't speak for Drew. Obviously, uh, yeah, I would take up all of my time on your question tonight. And, and I think that uh, I do think it's for uh, another press conference. And um, obviously, he, he's uh, been tremendous uh, for this team, the city. Uh, you can't, I can go on and on. But uh, let's wait and uh, answer that at the right time. If he's done, next stop, Canton, Ohio. I mean, the, this is video game type stuff, folks. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. By the way, if it is video game type stuff, my 15-year-old, Brady, get off the video game. Watch the show, dude. You'll learn something. Especially for my guy, Steve Smith Sr., who battled against Drew Brees in that NFC South for eight seasons. What do you admire most about Drew Brees watching him from the other sideline? Well, career-wise, uh, you know, in the NFL, I had the pleasure and the opportunity to play in the Hula Bowl when we were both coming out of college from the same draft class. Uh, I believe I was on the south and he was on the north. Um, just watching Drew Brees out of the University of Purdue and seeing him uh, in the NFL uh, as a classmate of the 2001 draft class has been an honor and a privilege. Uh, to play against him, to be on the same field with him, uh, against each other, to to play with, play at uh, Pro Bowls together. Uh, Drew Brees is one of those quarterbacks. When you when we go back and we think about it and we look, we'll be amazed that you know I'm just looking at eighty thousand <laughs> yards. He just did some things that we just didn't believe uh, a guy can do, and he did it each and every Sunday. And he amazed us. Even at 42 years old, I'll take a 42-year-old Drew Brees compared to some of these 27 or 30-year-old quarterbacks that are just trying to find their way. So Drew Brees is the is the quarterback that you uh, you you love to hate when he's on the other side, but you wish and dream that you had the opportunity to play with mm -hmm. him. So uh, for me personally, um, as, as a dad, as a you know former player, but also just as a competitor. Man, he's one of the greatest to play against, and uh, our game will miss him. And salute you, man, and hats off to you, bro. You're a hell of a player, and I look forward to uh, running into you on the golf course in a retired life, if that's this year or next year. But at some point, he will retire. All right, well, let's see. He uh, just played Meet the Press a few moments ago. There are obviously so many incredible memories, so many incredible relationships that have come as a result um, of playing this game. And man, you find out so much about yourself and you have to fight through so much, you know, when you play this game. And and I'd say this season, probably had to fight through more than I've ever had to in any other season in my career. Um, from injury to all the COVID stuff to just crazy circumstances, um, man, it was worth Every moment of it, absolutely. Let's remember, um, Steve, he was coming off an injury when he left the Chargers. Like the Dolphins, they wouldn't clear him. He went to New Orleans. They were dealing with Hurricane Katrina. He was the guy that said, I'm not from here, but this is going to be my home moving future, you know, for the future. And he made it his home. And he had a family there. And he made the Saints a Super Bowl champion. So when you look at Drew Brees, I guess the player and the man, it seemed to be the perfect marriage down there in New Orleans. It absolutely was. And when you look at Drew Brees and how he conducted himself, how he carried himself, and how that city followed him, how mm -hmm. those players followed him, uh, it's, no, it's no trick. It's no, it, it's no magic uh, pill you could take. It's no secret. When you talk about the New Orleans Saints, you always and will always have to put Drew Brees in that same sentence. So, by the way, he has not made an official announcement. Perhaps that will come in the next few days. But right now it's too raw, it's too fresh. And if so, he goes out a 30-20 to 20 loser mm -hmm. against Tom Brady, who is vying for a...